Good morning. If you hear that noise, that's my fan. This is Apostle Ross and Solomon. This is Ross and Solomon's YouTube channel. If you want to see uh, uh, my other links to buy my books, listen to my music, watch my music videos on Vimo, YouTube, worldwide. Um, you want to see my prophecy blog, my prayer blog, Bitchu, uh, and anything else. <laughs> All my links are under all my previous videos, and I'm going to put them under this one. Also, you could go to my landing page and hit about, and it'll be there. Um, and if you want to know more about me, you can Google me. Just Google Apostle Ross and Solomon, and a lot of stuff will come up. You, or you could Google Apostle Ross and Solomon or Ross and Solomon's bio. Um, I also have written articles about my music and videos out there. So, if you're interested in knowing who I really am, I'm not just an online leader. <laughs> I've been on TV. I was on the Now Network for about six months, going back on TV again. I'm just waiting until I relocate. So I'm more than an online leader. I was told that's what uh, Prophet Joe called me. <laughs> I'm like, whoa, hitting below the belt. But you know, I'm a woman of integrity and I'm a woman of God. And I'll never, I'll never call somebody i'll never make somebody feel less than you know i only speak the truth of god and i only speak what god tell me if people want to believe that is from god then that's a blessing if they don't want to believe it's from god and they think it's from me that's on them you know all they have to do is just go test me well god just pray and ask god who is ross and solomon you know um there is about five or six videos out there uh over the past couple of years that people made about me that don't even know me and they just gone by their assumptions you know trying to make me look bad but god you know i'm always victorious because i'm truly of the lord you know and yeshua went through the same thing and anybody out there that's truly of the lord you all go through the same thing too it's just part of the package you know when you say things people like they love you and bless you when you say things they don't like or you go against somebody they like it's <laughs> the, the monsters come out of there and then you see you know and i've had major attacks come against me but this is the biggest one you know and guess what i'm gonna be victorious as i always am and people are gonna see that i'm telling the truth and um that's all i'm gonna say about that so you know if prophet joe want to go out there and try and make me look less than say this say that you know that's on him 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 and god will deal with that me as far as apostle rasa solomon i'm not going to go against prophet joe i don't care what he says about me because i have integrity and this is not about a tick for tack this is about what god told me and what i saw in a vision you know what i mean and my brother tc well transfer he's backing me up because he's a prophet too and god showed him stuff you know, and other people out there leaving comments under my videos and even in my live saying the dreams they had about him. You know what I mean? But, if, you know, Prophet Joe want to try and make me feel less than, you know, then that's between him and God. But see, you'll never get that out of me. I'll, I'll never go against him or anybody. I'll never call people out their name because, you know, they're trying to come against me. I got integrity and I'm a woman of the most high and I'm not doing no tick for tack. You know what I mean? And, and and it came straight from the mouth of God into my mouth, you know, and in the end, people will see who is telling the truth, period. And it's a shame, you know, that this has to happen, you know, because these things should not be happening in the ministry. Prophet Joe and I, you know, God ordained us to save souls, to, to bring to the feet of Yah and to be his prophets of nations. This was not meant to be turned into what it's being turned in. It's only being turned into it because it's the church people that's doing it, you know? And then Prophet Joe want to call me an online leader, you know, try to make me less than. That's totally unnecessary. You know you wrong, Prophet Joe. You know you wrong, you know? And God going to deal with it, you know what I mean? And that's all I'm going to say. And God bless everybody. But what I came on here for, and I'm shocked because God wanted me to share this. And I'm like, Really? You want me to share this as evil as a lot of these, not all Nigerians, but some of them are just, just, just being disgusting with their curses. I mean, is it that serious that you got to curse me? <laughs> is it that serious, y'all? <laughs>
They saying we Americans is jealous because they made millions. No, but we ain't jealous. Our money is way more bigger than your money right now. And I'm not bragging or being facetious. I'm just keeping it real with you. I mean, <laughs> I mean, really, 10 million of our money is only 21 million of your money. Really? And we we jealous of y'all? No, nah, we ain't jealous. We just telling the truth what God showed us. You know, and that's the end of that. But anyway, God showed me about a coin called XEN. He's been showing me multiple coins in the past week, but this is the only one he told me to share. The rest of them I cannot share and probably never will. I only shared it with one or two of my brothers because he told me to. But for some strange reason, he told me to share this coin XEN. Some of y'all probably already know about it, but I never knew about it until the Lord you know, talk to me about it. So, you know, I went on Coinbase, right? And when and, and when I saw how much that coin used to be worth a year ago, I was like, my goodness, it's a past sheep. It had no zeros left. It just had zero point. Hold up, I'm gonna read it to y'all. Do I got time on this thing? Yeah, I'm gonna read it to y'all. Hold on. I gotta go to um Coinbase. Cause it's not on Coinbase, it's on Coinbase. Um Coinbase wallet and my brother checked it and you could get it on you know pancake swap and you know all of that stuff because he know all that stuff okay now it's all time high was 0 0.7 hold on let me turn my light on 0 0.75373714 then a year ago the same thing right now the coin has gone up 27 percent since yesterday right and um so i got a little yesterday right but you only could get it on coinbase wallet and uh, in uh, other places right but it's a past shape right so now it has it has five zeros when i think yesterday it had six but now it has five right and um i didn't get on here yesterday to tell you about it because i you know was busy doing other things and the lord hadn't told me yet to share it he just told me to share it like early this morning in prayer um and i guess he's want me to share it because you know everybody that follow me is not bashing me a lot of y'all are supporting me and i bless y'all for that a lot of y'all telling me you love me bless you for that a lot of y'all know i'm a true prophet a lot of y'all know that i don't prophesy out of my own flesh and i don't prophesy a lie you know all you got to do is look at my videos and you'll see so many things have come to pass you know if you go to my prophecy blog uh www.get-2-heaven.com i have written prophecies on there some that have come to pass i have a book called prophetic mantle past present and future which is on Barnes and Nobles on the Apostle Ross and Solomon from visions and dreams from 2013. But I published the book in 2015. 70% of the book has come to pass. I even prophesied about China. The Lord told me China was going to have an um, pandemic and millions would die. It's right there in the book. You know what I mean? So before you start calling me and anybody else a false prophet, you need to see their background. Like Prophet Joe, he's not a false prophet. I would never call him that. He just made a mistake. He made an error like the prophets in the Bible. And those prophets in the Bible, they died because they lied. But thank God we got the blood. You know, Prophet Joel is an awesome prophet. And I keep telling y'all that. And I stand by what I said. I saw him in a dream dancing. And, and God said he, he was of him. And he was celebrating because of all the money. But, he, but like God told me, Prophet Joel made an error. And prophets do that. See, you should not lift. I'm a prophet myself. You should not lift prophets up so high to the point where when they lie to you, you you can't accept it, you know, and you go after the person who's telling you the truth. And then when they end, you find out the truth. You so prideful, you can't even apologize to God himself or the person you went against. Please don't ever lift, lift people up that high where you, where you can't see no wrong in them. Because as long as we got flesh in us, we you know, we could be in the wrong. I'm not perfect. There was once or twice I'm, I I said something and, and it changed in the spirit room because the Lord showed me and I came back and I testified it like Donald Trump, you know, it's something to do with Hillary Clinton back in 2016. Those were the only two times, you know, and, and, and I saw Donald Trump win two months before he won and he did win, <laughs> you know, and it was, um, 
it was something else it was a couple a couple of years ago. i can't remember so you know i even made one or two mistakes but i owned mine i came back and i i apologized and 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 told the truth what what god has showed me again you know so you can't hold us prophets up that high will you think we could do no wrong will you think that we can't be wrong we can't make mistakes all right proofs in the pudding so the, this coin that god showed me about xen is a fabulous coin it it has surpassed shiva Innu. and i have never heard of this coin and there's so many coins god has given me in the past week along i'm shocked and they're doing well but i can't share those right but he's allowing me to share this one because like there are many of you from nigeria who support me and love me and here in america and all over the world and you're his children and he wants you to share in it you know so this is not a financial advice nor am i google this is a prophecy he told me about this coin it's already up 27 percent from the time he told me so obviously this coin is going to do something guys <laughs> and while it got five zeros all i can say is get in where you fit in get in where you fit in get in where you fit in because <laughs> this is not financial advice nor my guru i plead the fifth nobody coming for me nobody suing me for saying something about a coin you know what i mean like kim kardashian and she paid a million bucks right so y'all go to god on this and do your own do and i guarantee you all of the nigerians because y'all all nigerians because i know nigerian names it's a few americans but majority of you are nigerians the ones on twitter and that's coming to my channel and i'm blocking all of y'all you'll never leave a comment again right and um when i do my church tomorrow sometime and you come on i got about eight moderators they gonna block you you hear me my moderators well when church start tomorrow afternoon and you see these nigerian people or these american people coming on here leave a comments block they butts okay letting you know now because we're not we're gonna have we're not gonna have these nefarious ways nor bar 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 barbaric foolishness right so you choo choo so i bet you these nigerians and these americans that are cursing me over prophet joe i guarantee you they'll go and buy that coin xen i guarantee you they'll listen to me i guarantee you. and i guarantee you when they start making money they, oh bless you <laughs> thank <laughs> you all the prophet joe people who are now listening to me because of him will go and buy that x that xen coin if they could get it guarantee you because <laughs> they fake <laughs> people are fake not just nigerians some of the nigerians and the people here now my people in nigeria i love y'all i'm and, and and i ain't being racist against any of you i grew up around africans i love africa i want to move to africa but I'm just telling y'all the truth. Don't get offended. It's a lot of Nigerians cursing me on YouTube and coming here cursing me. It's a lot of them. I could count on my hands how many Americans have come for me. You know, so I'm just being true for my Nigerian people. So I pray for you, my Nigerian people, and thank you the ones who love me and support me and believe in, in the God in me and the Americans and people all over the world. All right. So I just came to tell y'all that you know i'm gonna try not to talk about this prophet joe situation anymore because it's so much drama and i'm not in, i'm not in drama at all okay i'm in the kingdom of god so i'm gonna try my best not to say anything else about it you know and but you know if prophet joe goes against me and try to make belittle me like he trying to call me an online minister only i'm an apostle okay i'm i'm way more than that and trust me i'm gonna have my own church very very soon i just haven't looked for anything down here you know i could apply for a loan and try and get something down here i'm waiting till i go home you know because god told me i'm going home so when i go home i'm gonna get all that stuff you know but in the meantime i just have all these platforms and all the other stuff god gave me and i will be back on tv again because i used to be on the now network all right so god bless everybody thank you for taking the time to listen to me god bless all of prophet joe's followers and you nigerians going against me i ain't mad at you i don't have nothing against you all i got is love for you because there's no hate in me and i don't care who who goes against me talk bad about me i'm not gonna hate you i'm gonna take you to god <laughs> all right so god bless everybody happy sabbath shalom